Good to see you again, survivors. It's me. And today, I'm going to be showing you some information on how to build a base. It's going to be a step-by-step, -step, as well as a few tips. So let's get right on into it. Starting off with the basics on how to build your structural components and make a base. In this tent, I've assembled all the tools. First, we're going to start off with two ropes and a knife. We're going to use the knife to go out and cut down some bushes. Bushes are going to give you long sticks, which you can then take and split into three small sticks. Here, I'm going to be cutting down two bushes because we have two ropes, and I'd like to make both a watchtower kit and a fence kit. Combining them together in your inventory will allow you to have a stack of five sticks combined with a rope, and you can craft either a fence kit with two sticks and a rope, or you can craft a watchtower kit with four sticks and a rope. Now, these are going to give you the options to lay foundations, which you'll later build on, to make the components of your base. So we're going to grab our fence kit here, drag it over to our hands, and then find a nice place to put this down. Now just for demonstration purposes, I'll be plopping it down wherever. This looks good, so we put it down, boom, there you got it. Going back in, we're going to switch over our tools and we're going to grab an axe. The axe is very useful for chopping down wood. You can use a hatchet, but oh, one second. Got to deal with some uh, zombies over here. I am trying to make a YouTube video, you annoying pieces. God, they come, I, this is, this is Daisy in a nutshell, just trying to do something and zombies everywhere. All right. I think we got them all. Let's just let's just double check here. Any more? That'll bring them. No. All right. Looks like we're good. All right. Back into the guide. Where were we? Um. All right. Right. We're gonna be cutting down some wood so that we can get these foundations up and going and get closer to that base that we've always dreamed of. Chopping down wood does take some time, as well as a lot of durability off your axe, so I recommend bringing a sharpening stone if you're going to be doing a lot of construction. But now that we have the log, we're going to drag it on over, drop it on the fence. The fence is going to need two logs, head back on over to this tree, choppy choppy choppy, boom, another log. These are a pain to carry, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Throwing this axe back in the tent, we're going to be able to grab out our shovel. The shovel is only needed for one part of base building, but it's one of the most important, putting up your foundations. Now that your foundations are up, you actually get your fence kit back, so you only need one of those to make as many fences as you want. Now to the fun stuff. Pop back this shovel and we're going to grab some building supplies. A hammer, a couple boxes of nails, and then some planks, which again, pain to run, but we'll stack a couple planks on there. Now, once we've got all the planks on there, we're going to be able to interact with a box of nails, toss the nails on there as well, and we're ready to build. Grab your hammer, hatchet works as well, make sure you have those nails and plank slots occupied, and you'll be able to build your frame as well as the coverings on top of them. The frames are going to cost four planks and eight nails each. The coverings are going to cost 5 planks and 10 nails each, bringing our total to 36 nails used and 18 planks used per fence. Now, you can always turn the fence into a gate. You just got to slap some metal wire on and have a pair of pliers with you. And this way, you'll be able to move in and out of your compound in a secure way. This doesn't really help us though, because other people can get in and out as well. So the best way to deal with this is going to be to go out and get ourselves a combination lock. Now, these can be found in any sort of industrial spawns, like over in one of these sheds or any other warehouse. There are two different types, a three digit and a four digit. Obviously the four digit's stronger, so we're gonna take that and hopefully use that on every single base we can. Once we've got the combination lock, we can configure it to have any password we want and attach it to the gate. Boom. 
it's going to be a bit of a pain to get open, and it's not going to be able to be opened in the tensest of situations, like getting shot at. You can't really stand here, take bullets while you toggle around with the numbers. But if you're able to secure the location, it shouldn't be too difficult to stand there, pop this open, and then slap it right back on once you get through the gate. I think now's a good time to mention you should subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment about what you do and do not like so I can improve my videos. Using the same principles to build this gate, we're also able to make a platform and some stairs on the back of a fence, or beauty up one of these babies, maybe even make a watchtower using the watchtower kit and the same simple steps, just adding floors and stairs. When you're building a base, location is very important. I prefer to minimize the amount of materials I have to use and maximize the amount of space by building inside of buildings or around already existing structures. This gives you pre-existing cover that cannot be destroyed as well as your ability to create pathways and doorways where you need them. You can take a small area like this warehouse and turn it into a car storage and item storage. Or take something bigger like this farm. Take the barn and build inside of it. This is going to give you tons more space than you normally would be able to get with just four walls. It only took four walls to seal this whole thing off. And you're able to fit in numerous tents, vehicles, barrels, storage, almost anything you want. Other buildings, bigger buildings, are available with even better structural coordination, like this red factory building. There are only two ways in, one at the front and then the single side door over here. Again, with enough building and planning, you can turn this beautiful space into a base you are proud to show your friends. Just make sure you slap up gates at the entrances, or just one gate at the front, and wall off the back. You can even make an airlock system, secure it with some barbed wire, some watchtowers inside for shooting platforms, and you're set, ready to go. Throw some tents in there for storage, as well as some barrels, and soon you'll have a compound like this one, something that you can be proud to show your friends and your clan, and something that's easy to defend. Like, just take a look inside this thing. It's massive. You're able to fit so much in, and it's so well protected. This is the kind of base that makes all your friends jealous. Build something like this. Then, there's the chance to get adventurous. You can climb to the top of an apartment building, make a little airlock system like we have set up here, where your combination lock's easy to access from both sides, and boom. Here you have one of the prettiest bases I've made so far. I like to call it the sniper's nest for obvious reasons, but this is built on the top of an apartment building. The options are limitless, it just depends on what you can think of. Now you're left to your own devices to go out and create whatever bases you can. I can make specific base tutorials if you'd like to see them, let me know down in the comments below. Shout out to Topher Nova for the continued support on Patreon, you keep the fire in my shoes. Keep on surviving survivors, and I will see you on the next one.